Hi guys, Willie Creeper here again. Um, I've just been watching uh, Etho's latest uh, Let's Play video, um, episode uh, 164, um, in which he's been having problems with his uh, Blaze conveyor, um, and it's uh, prompted me to have a look and see um, how I would do um, uh, a, a similar system. Um, okay, let's go have a look. I did spend a bit of time seeing if I could get this uh, diagonal system going, similar to um, Ethos, um, very fast, but uh, I don't know, multiple problems with that. Um, instead, what I've come up with is a completely different design, uh, which is this uh, linear conveyor uh, using four pistons to push these blocks around um, in a continuous loop, running on the clock. Um, very simple redstone, as you can see. Um, basically, um, let's, uh, yeah, so uh, you need to provide a, a rapid pulse to the system, a single pulse, um, which I'm using a lever to do because uh, it needs to be quicker than a button press. Um, and what that does is it fires this. Uh, it's just a sticky piston with a sand block, sandstone block on. Uh, these repeaters uh, give enough of a delay for this to fire and retract before the signal then fires uh, this second piston. Uh, again, enough of a delay for that to retract before firing this piston. And then again, enough of a delay to do the same job fire and retract before firing this non-sticky piston. Um, uh, and then a delay again to go back to the start, uh, forming basic, yeah, basic uh, redstone clock. Um, uh, the delays could probably do with a bit of tweaking to really optimize um, optimize them, but um, it's a bit rough and ready, um, and it does seem to be working, it, even though it seems to need different delays, I'm not quite sure why, um, probably my fault. <coughs> um, yeah, basically we're pushing around alternating railroad and stone blocks, um, apart from the fact you need a, a double of one or the other because um, you need a gap in um, in front of one of these pistons, otherwise the system jams up, um, which gives you an uneven number of um, blocks uh, counting the railroads uh, get moving around the system. So you, you end up with a double of one or the other. Okay. Um, these sticky pistons don't actually need to be sticky pistons. Uh, you can use normal pistons. I uh, placed one forward from there, um, which I originally did. Um, this can't be a sticky piston. Um, the reason for this is it's the exit. Um, so we want uh, the mobs to travel through the piston head, not to be affected by the piston head in the same way the blocks are. Um, This was a sticky piston. Uh, sure, some would go through into this lava column, but uh, equally, some most would probably just go around the corner. Um, and that's the reason why these are sticky pistons. Is if you want to move them around the corner, they need to be pushed by a block. Um, so using a sticky piston with a block on is the way to do that. Um, so although my system's narrow. Um, you could build this in a square shape and have them travel all the way down one side, all the way up the other, uh, or indeed around three sides, although 
can't see how that would be useful. Um, this here is just to break the circuit in order to switch it off if I want to. Um, uh, some ad advantages of this system, uh, although it seems quite slow, um, it can hold uh, as many blazers as your game can handle in the system um, at the same time. So, uh, it, although each individual compartment is moving slowly, uh, each individual compartment can also contain quite a number of blazers in it. Um, you do get glitches through blocks, however, because we're pushing them by their feet, um, any such glitches don't kill them, uh, they simply sit there and then pop back out into the next phase as it, become, as it gets moved along. Um, and if they get trapped on entry between a block at their head and one of these blocks at their feet, they will actually glitch through with their feet instead of their head. Um, and so this transport system so far appears to be uh, appears to incur zero damage on the blaze in transit, so making it more um, uh, you're able to be a lot more accurate with uh, giving them damage at the end. So uh, let's see a blaze um, go around the system. So he drops down, drops into this notch, and gets pushed along. there until there's a gap and now it's being pushed along and we can see from this entry point that he successfully goes around the corner no problem. Um, now unlike a diagonal system uh, like in those uh, this I'm able to now just spam the blaze into here This does increase the number of glitching through blocks because they're pushing each other. Um, however, it does appear, even though this is glass on the sides, they will really only glitch themselves forwards and backwards along the system. Um, and the system is able to cope with this, um, and it's moving the majority of them along. Those that get pushed through into the previous compartment will then get carried along or even if they get pushed through again as this one we just saw there did he's now being carried along um, and this one there glitched through a block so the flow of blazers is maintained um, and if we then see here we go and last one through Now, what should happen now, according to all my testing, is I'm going to release this water for an easy method of killing them, and we should have simultaneous death because none of them will have received any damage in transit. And there you go. Okay? wasn't quite simultaneous, I think some of them got hit with the water marginally before the others. Uh, it certainly wasn't long enough for it to be that some of them had damage and others didn't. Um, however, oh. 
let's do that test again. some jump in here. Um, I don't know if we'll see this but if any of them glitch... Uh, there you go. Right, so these on the end glitched through this block with their feet rather than through this block with their head. So there was no damage involved. So the water is going to hit some of them before others. But there you go. I mean, those deaths were far too close together to be caused by some of them having damage um, and others not. Um, so yeah, that was my idea. Um, it, obviously, um, there's an obvious limitation in that it can only uh, work uh, based upon how many blocks that a piston can push. However, there's nothing to say that what's dropping this, the blaze, down into the system has to be the spawn. It could in fact be another one of these coming along and dropping them down and then you could string as many of them together as you want so it can be extended although it requires you to step down uh, for each conveyor um, however you should be able to do that um, this needs to run on solid blocks because of the um, railway um, the minecart track because it needs to sit on a solid block um, otherwise it will pop off um, so you would need uh, in order to drop, drop these down you could drop them down maybe in this corner um, you'd need a solid um, layer for the one above to run on so you'd need to drop it down probably two per extended you know, for every one, every one of these sets that you extended it by, but um, uh, but yeah, um, as I say, it is possible. Anyway, um, I hope you found this interesting. Um, certainly, I found it interesting building it um, and interesting playing around with this. Uh, it's a shame I couldn't get it to work, but uh, maybe someone with, uh, well, maybe Ethan will get it to work himself. <laughs> um, I'd be interested to see what the solution was. Um, anyway, uh, as I say, I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you did, uh, please leave a like. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, um, feel free to subscribe. Uh, but thanks. <laughs>